Come on in, everybody. God bless you all once again. Hallelujah. This is the day in which the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in him. Glory to God. We praise God. We praise God for his for his faithfulness on on this day. Hallelujah. We serve the faithful God. Hallelujah. We serve the awesome God. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Come on in, people of God. Come on in. Like, tag, and share. Like, tag, and share. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on in, everybody. Glory to God. Come on in. We are we are living in some in some pivotal times in this hour in this season. Hallelujah. But but despite what's going on, despite hallelujah, what the enemy is doing, what he's up to, hallelujah, hallelujah, he's still faithful. Hey, hey dear, hey, bless you. God bless you, Prophetess Juliet. Hallelujah, hallelujah. May the blessings of the Lord continue to be with you all on this day. Come on in. I'm not going to be long with you all. I'm, I'm going to be very brief. Hallelujah. Something that the Father put in my spirit to um, talk about on tonight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Despite, hallelujah, what's going on, God is still faithful to his word. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm going to give y'all about another, hallelujah, about maybe another 45 seconds to a minute, and I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to get started with this word on tonight. Come on in, everybody. Like, tag, and share. Like, tag, and share. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we just thank you for this word that's about to be released into our hearts and minds on tonight. We pray, Father, you give us clarity, hallelujah, concerning this word, concerning this truth, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you increase while I decrease, hallelujah, glory to God. I pray also, Father, that you allow the people to hear you and not Taurus on tonight. Let there be minds that's going to be, let there be renewed minds on this live, change hearts, repentance, Hallelujah. If, if anybody that don't know who you are, Father, I pray on tonight that, 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 that they have the, they receive the opportunity of receiving you as Lord and Savior. Satan, you have no authority on this life. The blood of Jesus, hallelujah, is against you. Father, we pray that you consecrate this life. Move by your power, move by your spirit on this life. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. It is so. Amen. Before before I get started, I want I want to really thank. Um, I'm not going to say no names on her. God bless you, uh, Prophetess Rice Milton. Hallelujah. May the blessings of the Lord continue to be with you and your household. Hallelujah. I, I want to take this time. My wife and I. We really want to take this time to thank um, those. Who, who checked in on us, uh, hallelujah, who was concerned about our safety, um, during this tragedy, hallelujah, of, uh, of the tornadoes that took place in Middle Tennessee. Glory to God. Uh, we really appreciate you all checking in on us. We, God bless you, Prophet is Goodman. Hallelujah. Um, uh, we really appreciate that. Hallelujah. You know, the Father, you know, He protected us, He covered us. And, and most certainly we give his name the praise and the glory. But let us not forget about the families that was affected by the storm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let, let, let's keep the him and their households in prayer. Hallelujah. We, we understand and we know we're living in some crucial times. But people of God understand and know that it's very important in this hour and in this season to know who God is. So I just want to say that first of all. We really appreciate you all checking in on us by way of um, Facebook inboxes or text messages just to see um, how we was doing. We doing we 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 doing awesome. Everybody's safe. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Uh, there was no damage to our, our our home. We give God's name the praise and glory 
for that. So I just want to say that first of all, before I get started teaching, um, uh, I, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not going to be long over here on tonight. I want to read something to you all in Matthew chapter six. Verses um, 32 through 34, Matthew chapter 6, verses 32 through 34. This is the words of Jesus. I'm going to read it, then I'm going to break down. I'm going to summarize. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to paraphrase exactly what Jesus is saying. Verse, verse 32 says, for after all these things do the Gentiles seek. Watch this. For your heavenly father knows that you have need of these things. All right. So, so, so Jesus is saying your heavenly father knows the things that you need. Don't, don't miss out on this. Verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And verse 34 says, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Now, now, now let me say this. Jesus is really getting our undivided attention. He said, he's, first of all, he says, everything you need. Know that the father knows that you need these things. So, so, so the father knows exactly what we are in need of. All right. Now, now then he goes on to say, listen, for the things you need, they are in the kingdom because he says you first seek the kingdom. And his righteousness and all these things shall be added. Now, with that being said, people of God, we got to remember in our hearts and minds what Jesus, or better yet, what the Father has already said. Now, if you understand and know what the Father has said, hallelujah, concerning your life, then you shouldn't be worried about tomorrow. Y'all got that? Hallelujah. Listen, God knows exactly what we need. So, so, so even with that being said, all of your needs, the father will meet those needs. Now the, it, now, now pay attention. It's, it's the enemy's job to try to rob that seed or try to rob you of that word that God have already spoken to you of. Walking with the father. It's, it can be frustrating, but understand and know this. God already knows what's going on in our lives. We got to have faith and believe on what he says concerning our lives. The, listen, the devil is not after your home. The devil is not after your finances. The devil is not after your ministry. The devil is not, hallelujah, glory to God. He's, he's not after your children. I'm going to even say that. I'm going to tell you why. He's not after, hallelujah, your business. The devil is after your faith. So, oh, glory. Hallelujah. The devil is after your faith. So when you receive a word from the Lord, you got to have faith built upon that word. That way when there's obstacles, that way when there's circumstances coming in, you have the faith to believe on what God has said. Because I want to, I want to encourage you on tonight. That your needs have already been met. It doesn't matter what the need is. Even before you ask the father what your need is. Your needs have already been met. Because before. Uh, hallelujah. Before you have manifested on the earth. God already knew what you go ask him. He already knew. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He already knew what he was going to do for you. You just have to believe on what God has said. 
Jesus, good Lord have mercy. Jesus' needs was already met before, watch this, before God placed him in Mary's womb. He already knew what Jesus was going to be in need of. But because Jesus knew who he was in the kingdom, the enemy could do nothing but to come at him. But Jesus stood on what God has already said. Let me tell y'all something, people of God. Let me tell y'all something. What God has said about you concerning you is what matters the most. It doesn't matter what people, uh, it does not matter what people has to say about you. They did not create you before. Oh, Lord Jesus. They did not create you. They didn't, they didn't give you no purpose. They didn't anoint you for such a time as this. God did. So, so, so what Jesus is saying, so what Jesus is saying, look here. Don't you think that God has forgotten about you? Don't you think God has forgotten about you? And see, people of God, this is why I said, we in this hour, we must be delivered from people. Because it's a shame that we call ourselves children of God. It's a shame we call ourselves glory carriers. And we are concerned about what man got to say about us. What did God say about you? God said you was healed. Hallelujah. God says you're blessed. Hallelujah. God says you the hell and not the tail. You're above and not beneath. God said he gave you power to get wealth. God says, hallelujah, that you are a holy people. Hallelujah. This is what God says about you. So it does not matter who says the opposite because whoever is saying the opposite of what God has said about you is irrelevant. So, so people of God, so people of God, this is why God desires us to have a relationship with him because everything you need, not just only has already been met. Not just only it's already done, but everything you need is in the kingdom of God or better yet is in God himself. It is not God's will for his people to be beggars because God has said, I made you the lender and not the borrower. God said, I chose you, I purpose you, not just to be blessed, but to be a blessing. So when it comes down to supernatural provision, understand and know God must be in the center. God must, yes, God must be the center of your life. Everything you do, Got to be centered by God. If you if you have if you're an entrepreneur, your business got to be centered by God. It's got to be built on the foundations of God. Hallelujah. Those those and I understand and know everybody on this live. Hallelujah. Watch it or by way of replay. God, those that, that that's really a believer in Christ Jesus, God has purposed you for a for ministry. You may not be called to do what I'm called to do. I may not be called what he called you to do. But that, but our ministry got to be built on the foundations of God. See, real provision, oh glory, supernatural provision is built for, on the foundations of God. So people of God, you got to realize and you got to understand Everything God has spoken, he speaks a word. And y'all heard me say this. Y'all may see me post this at times. He speaks a word that has already been established. So when we speak kingdom, when we take authority, hallelujah, over the enemy, his, the, hallelujah, his demons, his devils, when we take authority and speak the word of God, we not just listen, 
We not just command. We just not putting a command on the devil. We not putting a command. Hallelujah, glory to God on his demons. But we speaking a word that has, has that has already been established. Understand, and let me say this as an example. You may be in need of a financial miracle. Watch this. If God tells you that he's going to provide a ram in the bush, that word that God spoke to you is an established word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That word cannot be uprooted because God has spoken it. Oh my God, my God, my God. God has spoken a word that has been a step. Yes, it's already done. Yes, we praise God is already done. Now, now the word, let me even say this. I'm even going to go deeper. I'm even going to go deeper. Even before God speaks that word, that word has already been established. You got to have the faith to believe God and to, and to, oh glory, and to go through whatever you got to go through to see that word come to pass in your life. Because if God has already spoken it, that is already, listen, if God has told you that your business is going to prosper, that's an established word. It doesn't matter what season, oh Lord, you and your business are going through, just understand and know that the word has already been established. Uh, 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 Isaiah, Isaiah 46. Isaiah 46, 9 to 10. Isaiah 46, 9 to 10. I want, I want to remind you some things on tonight. I want, I want to remind you on some things on tonight because, because I'm, 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 I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you why this word has already been established. Hallelujah. I'm going to show you why this word has already been established. Now watch this. Watch this. Verses, verses 9 and 10. Isaiah chapter 46, verses 9 and 10. Remember the former things of old. For I am God. God has already told you, first of all, remember what I have already done. Remember what I did for the, for your forefathers. Remember, hey, glory. I'm not a different God. I'm the same God. Hallelujah. I am God and there is none else. There is none else. So, so God, the creator, cannot be compared. I, am I making sense? God cannot be compared to anybody or anything because his word says there is none like me. I am God. There is none like me. So, so the, so, so what must happen is, we got to get into a place where we know God. See, oh Lord, many times we miss God's voice because we distracted. How do we miss God's voice because we not, we not, we not tuned into his spirit. We miss God's voice because we so in a rush and want God to move when we want him to move. It don't work that way. But check this out. Check this out. Verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. Now, now, whatever God declares to you concerning your life, that word, mm, that word has been active from the time it comes out of the mouth of God. Until you receive a manifestation of what you believe in God for. I, am, I hope I'm making sense on tonight. All right. The spoken word of God. If God told you, listen, if God told you that your business 
is going to prosper when that word came out of the mouth of God. Understand and know that your business is going to prosper. It doesn't matter how your business account looking. It doesn't matter how your inventory is looking. It doesn't matter who supports you or don't support you. What matters the most is what God says. And if God says your business is going to prosper, know that and believe your business is going to prosper because it, the word came out of the mouth of God. If God tells you you heal, it doesn't matter what the doctor says. If God tells you you heal, it doesn't matter, hallelujah, glory to what the diagnosis is. It doesn't matter what's going on in your body. Just know that if God says I'm healed, then, then, then I'm going to speak healing to my body. I'm going to walk in the manifestation of healing because God told me I was healed. You got to speak light to yourself. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Don't worry about who ain't praying for you. Don't worry about who trying to curse you. It don't matter who's speaking death on you. What did God say? God told me, hallelujah, Taurus, I'm healed. Well, if God tells me I'm healed, I'm walking in my healing. So it does not matter what's in opposition. I'm just understanding and knowing that God says I'm healed. And I got to have faith to believe I'm healed. Because healing, mm, healing is, is, is your portion. It's our portion. As children of God, as the people of God, it's not God's will for us to be sick. It's not God's will for us. Mm, it's not God's will for us to be bound to the point where, where our body tells us what it can and cannot do. You speak to your own body. Prophesy to your own body. Uh, what you just say, uh, what you just say, man of God. I said prophesy to your own body. Don't you understand the word of God that's on the inside of you? It has power over your own physical body. So, oh Lord Jesus, let, let, hey, my God, glory, glory. So if the doctor says that you got an illness, holly, or you got a sickness in your body, you can speak healing to your body just by opening up your mouth. I know what the doctor said, but I believe God. I, hey, glory. The Bible says, whose report do you believe? Whose report do you believe the report of man or you believe the report of the Lord? Because if you believe the report of the Lord, then act like it. Act like it. Our language, our language, our language got to change. We, we, we can't talk negative. We need to quit talking negative. So I, oh Lord Jesus, I, I know some people say you crazy when you talk to yourself. Listen, listen, listen. I'm telling y'all just like this. I, 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 I was uh, at a point in my life several times. Hallelujah, glory to God. Where, where, where I didn't depend on where I when I depended on somebody. And see, this was God. This was God training me and teaching me. Look, you don't put your trust in man. I had to learn how to speak life over myself. The Bible says David encouraged himself in the Lord. Listen, you, you're not a lunatic if you speak to yourself. You have a mouth. Use it. Use it. Hallelujah. Use it. You're not crazy if you speak to yourself. Hallelujah. You're not, uh, you, you, you're not slow. God, God, listen, God put God put a particular sound. Mm, God put a particular sound in your belly. And, hey, glory. And when it comes out of your mouth, God needs to hear what he have already said. The spirit of the Lord. That's it, prophet is good, man. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. We call those things be not as though they were. Hallelujah. So, so when God hears his echo, God says that's like a medley to his ears. Woo, glory. 
He know what he said. Do you know what he said? So people of God in this hour, in this hour, God is calling us. Watch this. To confirm what he has already said. And I understand, I understand, and this is why people of God, you got to use wisdom. You got to be very careful even when you tell people what season you in. Because what I'm telling you, and I had to learn this, people will put you, oh Lord Jesus, people will put you in a season that God never purposed you to be in. Or people will shift you out your season. You could be on the verge of your breakthrough, of your healing, of your deliverance, hallelujah, of your miracle, and listening to the wrong voice can cause you to miss out on it. Because they don't believe God like you do. This is why people of God, you need to connect with people in this hour, in this season that believes God like you do. Oh, uh, uh, see, see, I know, I know they're using this term called negative energy. No, no, we don't, we don't teach your negative energy over here. Hallelujah. Now, now you get delivered from negative energy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. No, 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 no. No, if they, listen, listen, if they don't believe God like I believe God concerning my destiny, concerning my purpose, boo boo, you can go your way and I can go my way and I will still have peace. I don't have to be connected to you. Because when it's all said and done, I didn't need you. Because, because what God is doing for me, what God is doing for me, <laughs> what God is doing for me, it, 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 it's, not, it's not about me, but, but, but God is trying to take me somewhere. And people of God, when you're going somewhere in God, when you looking for God to do something in your life, hallelujah, hallelujah, you cannot let everybody be connected to you. Can I tell you something? Everybody ain't going to believe God like you believe God. Because in this hour and in this season, I'm pressing my way forward. I'm looking to the hills which come in my help because my help comes from the Lord. I'm not looking to no government. Uh oh, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. Listen, 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 Lord Jesus. You don't have to lie to get approved, to, to get a grant approved by the government. Let me say, oh Lord Jesus, you don't have to lie, hallelujah, to get approved for a grant from the government. Listen, li whoo, glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Listen, what God is doing in this hour and this season for his people, I'm telling y'all, he, he, whoo. He's got people. And the Lord said this on the last line. He said, I'm going to put your name in somebody's spirit. Hey, glory to God. Whether they know you or don't know you. But I got it all set up where they're going to be a blessing to you concerning your vision, concerning your business, concerning your ministry. But you got to believe God. You don't have to manipulate nobody. You don't have to control nobody. All you got to do is believe God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You, you ain't got to lower your standards. And listen, if you got to lower your standards to some people that's connected to you so you can receive something from them, you need to repent or better yet, you need to cut ties with them. Because if they were truly connected to you, they'll be telling you, uh-uh, no, you ain't got to do all that. You ain't got to do all that, sis. You ain't got to do all that, bro. No, 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 no. Because in this hour... God is ordering, mm, he's ordering the steps of man on their behalf, on his behalf. So people of God, listen, 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 don't sell yourself cheap in this hour. Don't sell yourself cheap in this season because as a, as a kingdom citizen, you are more than enough. I'm a, I'm a speak that over. I don't know who needs to hear that on tonight, but God wants you to understand you are more than enough.
You are more, Lord G, you are more than enough. Listen, it's not about your gift. It's not about your talent. It's what God has to say about you. You are more than enough. You don't have to sell yourself cheap in this hour or in this season. You ain't got to beg nobody for anything. Listen, you ain't got to lie or deceive so you can get something, so you can Take care of concerning your business, your ministry, etc. You ain't got to do all that. Because I'm telling you, if you really, if you really trust God and believe God for his word, he's going to come through for you suddenly. How, as my wife, as my wife says, suddenly, immediately. What? Because, because, because in this hour, in this season, I heard the spirit of the Lord say it's Cairo season. Hey, glory. It's Kairos season. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. At any second, at any minute, any hour, any day, any week, any month, listen, God's word, you're going to see the manifestation of God's word. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling, listen, I understand. Oh, I'm, I got, I got to go there, Apostle Nina. I got to go there. I gotta go there. I understand. I under, ooh, Lord Jesus. I understand, you know, you know, you know, and I, and I, I'm not judging nobody on her. I understand you got the, 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 the Christmas holiday coming up and you want to do what you can do to, uh, for, 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 for people. But listen, don't lower your standards in this season. Uh, uh, uh don't lower your standards in this season. Uh, uh, what God got for you, 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 you ain't got to deceive nobody. Glory to God. What God got for you, you ain't got to manipulate nobody. What God's got for you, hallelujah, you ain't got to deceive nobody. Listen, you just be who God calls you to be. Because like I said on the last line, the door is already open. Everything you need, hallelujah, concerning your life, is already open. Hey, you ain't got to, Lord Jesus, you ain't got to worry about the enemy locking the doors. You ain't got to worry about your family member locking the doors. They don't they don't control the door. They don't open up the door. Because Jesus said in Revelations, when I open up a door, can't no man close it. So if God says this is your open door season... It don't matter who don't like you. It don't matter who don't support you. Just understand, God says this is my season. It's my season. And since it's, and since it's my season... I have every right to rejoice. I got every right to give God praise. I got every right to worship him because, because I know what God is capable of doing. Hallelujah. I seen the miracles. I seen the signs. I seen the wonders. I seen the supernatural. Hallelujah. If no, and listen, if you connected to anybody, that ain't pushing you closer to God, you need to cut them off right now. If they not speaking life over you, cut them off right now. Listen, listen, right now, you don't, oh, I hear you, Lord. You don't need to be so compassionate that you end up missing out on your supernatural provision because you want to hold on to people. You need to cut them off. O-F-F off. O-F-F off. Because guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I, I refuse. I refuse to let somebody hinder me in my walk with God where I des most definitely need God to move for me. God bless you, Pastor, Pastor Harrison. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are in a, we are in a crucial hour, people of God. We are in an hour of restoration. Glory to God. Restitution. Jesus Christ. I bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are in a crucial hour when I'm telling y'all, when I'm telling y'all, God is moving on his people's behalf. Listen, listen, listen what God says. Listen what God says. God says, God says, God says, I will restore the years that, that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locusts, the caterpillars have eaten. Watch this. Watch this. My great army. <laughs> hmm. So, 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 so the caterpillar, uh, the locust, the palmer worm, hallelujah, glory to the canker worm, they ain't been sent from the enemy. Oh, Lord Jesus. 
Oh, Lord Jesus. They've been sent by God. It's not God is turning his back on you. God wants to show you, do you know you? Oh, God wants you to understand in this hour, in this season of restoration, do you know who you are? Do you, oh Lord Jesus, huh? because I spoke a word to you, I spoke a word over you, and right now, you cannot allow this seed to die. Come on, come on, come on. You need to type, Lord, you need to tell yourself, my seed will not die. In this season. Oh glory. My seed will not die. In this season. And when I say seed. I'm not necessarily talking about your children. I'm talking about the spoken word. That God. Not the prophet. Not the prophet. The, not the prophet. Not the apostle. But the spoken word of God. That he's spoken on you. Because I'm telling you right now. You cannot. Oh, you, you, you cannot. You cannot. Vomit the word that God has spoken over you. Oh, Lord Jesus, because even, 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 Lord Jesus, I feel your presence. My seed will not die in this season. Whatever God has spoken to me concerning my life, hallelujah, is going to live. Hallelujah. This, this what's going to bring the manifestation of the word of God is when that seed lives. So everything God has told you, don't let that word die. Uh, uh, well, you don't know, you don't know, apostle. You don't know what the enemy been trying to do. You you don't know how how you been coming against your my mind. Listen, the reason why the devil is coming up against you. When you receive a word from the Lord, is because their word got to come to pass. And the devil would do whatever he can to try to hinder you from, from receiving that word, from you, hallelujah, having faith in God concerning that word. Because the devil wants you to miss out. But can I tell y'all something? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. We are in an hour. We are in a season where the word of God that has been spoken over our lives, we're going to see it come to pass. Listen, God's word will not come back to him void. Everything you need is in God. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. It's in God. So when he tells you to sow, you sow. Wherever he tells you to sow, you sow. Wherever. Mm. Ah, ah, whatever he tells you, you need to do it because part of this seed being germinate and coming to pass in your life, hallelujah, is that you continue to walk in obedience. Having faith is one thing, but walking in obedience is another. But oh Lord, if you go, if you not go obey God, ain't no purpose of having faith in him uh, because the two got to come together. Uh, not just only you got to have faith in God concerning that word that has been spoken of your life, but you got to walk in obedience. So, so when he tells you to do something, you got to do it. Uh, because that's one thing I come to realize. A lot of people, Jesus, Rice, uh, Prophet is Rice Milton, what the Father, mm, what the Father is going to do for you, when, oh, glory. It's going to be bigger than $700. In matter of fact, in matter of fact, what the Father getting ready to do for you, woman of God, $700 won't even be compared to it. Because the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord told me, hallelujah, glory to God, despite what you've been through, you still trusted in Him. You still obey, even at times you... Ooh, even at times when the enemy would tell you don't do it. But I'm telling you, woman of God, what the Father, glory to God, what the Father going to release to you is bigger 
have is $700 because $700 cannot and will not be compared to what the Father will release to you. And that's the word of the Lord concerning you prophetess. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Did you see what I'm talking about? I'm telling y'all we are in an hour and in the season of the open heavens. Lord Jesus, glory to God. We are in an hour and a season of the open heavens. And wherever you are in the realm of the spirit, people of God, you got to be in position. You got to stay in position of the place where the Father tells you. And I'm even going to go here. If the Father told y'all to connect with somebody, don't disconnect until the Father tells you to disconnect. Because sometimes God will have you connected with a person that you don't even think is worthy of being connected with. So oh, just to see what you get out of position. Because everything, listen, it does matter who you connected to in this hour. Don't and listen, the devil is a lie. It does matter, hallelujah, who you are connected to in this hour. Because if you really go on somewhere, you got to be connected with the right ones. I don't care if it's seasonal. I don't care. Oh. Your connections determine, uh-oh, your destination. Oh. Oh, Lord Jesus. Your, your, ooh, I felt that word. I felt that your connections have to do with your destinations. Listen, if you going so, if you, listen, you not finna ride in a car with just anybody and they don't know how to drive. No, no, no. Because where you go, oh, Lord Jesus, where you are, the person you are being connected to, it does matter. So people of God, I encourage you to stay in position. We are in an hour and we are in a season. Glory to God. Well, we got to be in position. And I understand the devil sending counterfeits. Counterfeit people. They, they talking, they talking God, but don't know who God is. They talking, uh, they quote scriptures, ain't living the scriptures. They talking about how sad they are, but they mean as hell. I'm sorry to say it like that. But I'm telling y'all, you got to be connected with the right ones. And some of y'all right now, oh Lord, I hear you Lord, I hear you Lord. Some of y'all right now, you moving too quick. This is why you in the season of isolation. This is why God got you in the season of isolation. Praise God for the season of isolation. Be oh Lord, yeah, oh, I, I said praise God for the season of isolation because some things God wants to release to you. Uh, he, God said ain't time yet. Uh, instead of him getting rid of the blessing, he put it on hold. He put it in layaway until you get yourself together. And that's when the release is going to happen. That's when the release is going to happen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's when the release is going to happen. It's, it's a, it, 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 it has to do with his timing. Uh, if you, listen, if you serve God, you got to go by God's timing. Don't go by your clock. Don't go by your calendar. Because God can't be measured by time. So by God stepping outside of time. Oh. Oh, some of y'all talking about y'all ready for the next dimension and you ain't even got the elementary part together. Uh-uh, no, no, no. God said, no, nope, no, nope, you ain't ready yet. I, I'm, I'm a blessing. I'm going to still give it to you, but not right now. And the reason why some of y'all have ain't got what y'all need right now from God, it ain't because you don't believe God. It ain't because you don't have faith. It ain't because you're not a good sower. It ain't because you're not walking in love. Your season just ain't came yet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God. Your season ain't came yet. But before the foundations of the world, hallelujah, glory to God. God already knew what you need, and he has already granted to you that. You just have to wait on God's timing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the hour. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. This is the hour of the Kairos. Listen, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, me and my wife, my wife and I, we, 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 we could do a live out by ourselves and talking about what God done for us. Hallelujah. But I'm telling you, when you, when you wait on God, when you wait on Him, 
Hallelujah. When you, when you, when you constantly speak light, when you constantly speak blessings, hallelujah, when you constantly walking in love, when he tells you to pray for folks that slander your name, when he, oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, everything you do is crucial. When God tells you to pray for somebody, that wish you was dead. When God tells you to pray for somebody that spoke word curses over you, you need to pray for them. Even Jesus prayed for them. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Uh, he could say, now, yeah, now, Lord, now, Lord, I can't pray for them. They'll for sabotage me. Hallelujah. They, they, look, they did me wrong. They, 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 they lied on me. Hallelujah. They, 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 these were the same ones. Hallelujah. They said, Look here, crucify him. But before they said crucify him, they talk about some Hosanna. Let me tell y'all something, people of God. Everybody that celebrate with you ain't for you. Oh, uh, oh, uh, they celebrating with you on social media. How they celebrating with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God in your face. But when your back is turned, they talk about crucify him. Crucify her. God, why you doing this for that? She used to be a prostitute. He used to be a pimp. Uh, but it don't matter. I've been bought with a price. I'm a born again believer of Jesus Christ. So I'm telling y'all, you still, you still got to walk in love. You still got to walk in love. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Can you tell God to still save your enemies? Uh, can you still tell God to deliver your enemies? Well, you don't know they call me everything but a child of God. Uh, but they still a soul. Uh, even though they didn't know what they was doing, they still a soul. And God says, all souls belong to me. So, so he provided. So, so God, God provides for his people. He provides for his people. He provides for his people. Uh, I want y'all to understand. Hallelujah. Everything you need is already done. Uh, well, uh, well, apostle, you don't know how long I had to wait. But guess what? <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's already done. You just have to believe that the door is already open. It just, when God sees you're ready and you mature, that's when the blessing go come. I'm a living witness. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, God. And I'm being. And I. And I. I, I, I got to be real with y'all. I got to be real for y'all. And you, you know, you can say what you want to say about me, but 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 walking with God, it, it, it ain't easy. It's not easy. God had to tell me. God, oh glory to God. Woo! I gotta say it because somebody somebody really needs to believe God on her. God had to tell me, I was working at, 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 at this job a while back. Hallelujah. God had to tell me to sell, to give, to, to sow. Watch this. Watch this. Sow. Sow your whole paycheck to the individual that spent on me. I got to tell about Pastor Nino. Because, because there's some people on here, hallelujah, you in your flesh. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, you're going to miss out on supernatural provision of God in your life. Hallelujah. The Lord told me to sow it. You know what? You know what? Out of obedience, I sowed the seed, the whole paycheck to the individual that spat on me. <laughs> and some of y'all, whoo, Lord, <laughs> I tell y'all this walk ain't easy. Cause, cause praise God, I praise God. I listen to his voice. Cause see, cause see, if, if, if he didn't speak to me, I more than likely I probably wouldn't be on this live ministering the word of the Lord to you all. Hallelujah. But out of obedience, I did. Because watch this, watch this. If I did what God told me to do, and I knew I was in need. I knew I was in need. Within 24 hours, the breakthrough came through. The breakthrough came through. I was in need of a major breakthrough. 
I was in need of a major breakthrough. At that time, I'm sharing, the, I'm sharing this with y'all. I was, I was enrolled in school and, and, and the school told me I wasn't qualified. I wasn't qualified to enroll in the spring semester. Don't y'all know that letter came in the mail the same day. What Lord Jesus? Mm. Blessings to you, Prophetess Kiosha and uh, Prophetess Tatiana. Hallelujah. Listen, the day after, within 24 hours, I got approved to enroll in spring semester. And the Spirit of the Lord told me, the Spirit of the Lord told me, if you have not sold that seed, your debts to the school wouldn't have got paid. Did y'all hear what I just said? Did y'all hear what I just said? The, God told me, he said, if you had not sold that seed, your debts would have not got paid. Now I said, Lord, I didn't know I was in debt with the school. Somebody needs to hear that. I don't know who needs to hear that. But when God tells you do right by your enemies, you got to do it. Because whatever you need from God, it, listen, listen, I don't, don't, don't allow your flesh and I bind that spirit. I bind that arrogant, that prideful spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen, as a child of God of the most high. You're going to walk in love. You're not going to be bitter. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen. Listen. Right now. You're not going to be jealous or angry. That, oh, Lord Jesus. I bind it. I bind it. Hallelujah. Bless it to you. Lawana Jenkins. Hallelujah. God bless you. Welcome. 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 And get ready for what the Father is getting ready to do you want to do for you woman of God hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of the Lord Lord Jesus I don't even know you woman of God I just hear the Lord already the spirit of the Lord told me there's some things that you waiting on God to do and you and you need finances hallelujah you really you really need to do it hallelujah uh -huh. I hear the spirit of, I don't even know you I never talk with you hallelujah listen Woman of God, your needs have already been met. The door is open. The reason why the Father hasn't released it to it, because you're in your testing season. You are in your testing season, and you are on the verge. You need this door to be opened up. It is, of, I encourage you, woman of God, to pass every test in the name of Jesus, and I bind them thoughts that be coming in your head, talking about you wasting your time, that God God ain't going to come through for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Satan, you are a liar. I bind, hallelujah, I dismantle those negative thoughts that has been playing in the woman's of God's head in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare it is so. It is yours, woman of God. Pass these tests. Whatever the spirit of the Lord is telling you to do, woman of God, you do it. You do it. There's no coincidence why this is your first time here on this line. Hallelujah. God had a word from you. Hallelujah. Listen, you know, listen, listen, listen. Woman of God, woman of God. I know I heard God. I know I heard God. And it is done. It had, the word of the Lord has already been established. And it is so. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Come on, come on, y'all. Come on, come on. This is the hour and the season of the open door. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and woman of God, I hear the Spirit of the Lord say, watch out for your connections. Watch out for your connections. Check out your circle and don't tell nobody. Listen, woman of God. Listen, listen, listen. Don't quit. Don't tell nobody what the Father is doing. Concerning your life, cause there's some people that's operating in witchcraft that's going behind your back and cursing. Cursing at you. 
So you got to be careful. Hallelujah. 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 I'm telling y'all people of God. Woman of God, you need listen. Listen. You, listen, woman of God. Lawana Jerkins. Right now, what matters the most is you is your obedience to the Father. The door is already open. Provision has already been made. You got to pass these tests. And, and listen, if nobody ain't listen, woman of God. If anybody in your ear that, that's speaking opposite to what the Father is saying, that's who you need to disconnect from. And Father, I pray, and I pray you give her the strength to pass these tests. Because these ain't no easy tests. Uh -uh, these ain't no elementary tests. And we bind that spirit of witchcraft. That's it, baby. We bind that spirit of witchcraft. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Consume every word cursed in the name of Jesus. And that's the word of the Lord concerning you. Glory to God. I feel the power of God. I just, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We are in a, a crucial hour within the body of Christ. The enemy want us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know it's been unbearable because I, that's what I heard the Holy Ghost say. Uh-huh. But you stay faithful. You stay faithful. You don't owe no man no explanation. Do what it, listen. I, listen, woman, I don't care who talked about you. If God said bless them, you bless them. If God said pray for them, cause I'm taking this, a, this is a major door for you, woman of God. This is a major door for you. But I prophesy to you also, woman of God, Lodabar will not be your portion. Lodabar lack instability. It, Ineffectiveness, ineffectiveness will not be your portion. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-huh. Yes, Lord, we bless your holy name. And so, yeah, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And some of y'all, listen, listen, I told y'all in the last live, God is doing something supernaturally. God, listen, listen, this release right here, this particular release is only for those that's walking in righteousness and holiness and having, and those that have faith in God. Uh, and listen, if you're doing what you want to do, this ain't for you. There's a particular release. There's a dimension in the realm of the spirit where the Father wants to take us in this hour and in this season in order to get to that dimension, people of God. Yes, you got to endure warfare. Hallelujah. But I don't want, I don't want to talk about warfare. I really don't want to neglect it. Hallelujah. Because the enemy wants us to miss out on our increase. Hallelujah. And many of you, your faith, your, listen, your faith needs to be strengthened. Your faith needs to be strengthened. And, and, and let me say this. I, I, I want, I want to come into an agreement with your, that, that the Father strengthens your faith. Because some of y'all, some of y'all, y'all, y'all about to lose y'all minds. Like, I don't know what to do. But I, 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 I prophesy to y'all, you will not give up on God in this season. How do you, listen, you will not give up on God in this season. You will not turn your back on God in this season. That's a trick of the enemy. This is why I'm telling the people of God, y'all got to be mindful of who's speaking in y'all ear. Y'all got to be mindful of, of who's speaking in your ear. Everybody don't believe God like you. Everybody don't believe God like you. And you need to be you need you need to be connected to somebody. You need to be connected to somebody that's speaking life to you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Uh, Tatiana Evans, I, I'm saying Evans, I'm sorry, Evans, Evans. Tatiana Evans, get ready to birth, woman of God. Get ready to birth. Get that? Get ready to birth. 
Get ready to birth. And let me tell you this, uh, Tatiana. Everybody's not obligated to speak to your womb. Because what the father finna get ready to birth out of you. What God is getting ready to birth out of you, woman of God. Can't know anybody lay hands on you. Can't nobody even speak a word of you. Because let me tell you this, woman of God. And I'll prophesy this to you. That the seal's anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take you to another dimension. Hallelujah. While you at this birthing. Because the wrong voice, woman of God. And please do not get me wrong. I'm not cursing you. But the wrong voice can kill your baby. The, the wrong hands. The, these, huh? I got the wrong hands can kill your baby. Woman of God. What the father for the... Mark my word. Mark my word, woman of God. Woman, my, my, you finna get ready to birth. Cause that's a that's a oh my dear by There's there's an there's an intercessory anointing that's finna hit you like never before, woman of God. Cause I hear the spirit, my dear I heard the spirit of the Lord say, yes, you are an intercessor. Yes, you are an intercessor. And people need to be very mindful that you belong to God. Because the wrong, woo, the wrong voice that's speaking all kinds of stuff over you. Listen, listen, God will take them up out of here. God will take them up out of here. Because I hear the father says, you are his daughter. You are his chosen vessel. Because I'm telling you. You, yes, 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 you are a prophet. Yes, but you are an intercessor. My God, man, what the father finna get ready. What the father finna get ready to put in your Belly. If they don't have the right spirit, if they don't have the right motive, they can't touch you, they can't speak over you. Listen to listen to me by way of the spirit, Tatiana. Prophet is Tatiana, listen to me by way of the spirit. If they do oh Lord Jesus, if they have the wrong spirit, they can't touch you and don't allow them to touch you. Because God says you authorized to tell them, oh Lord Jesus, you authorized to tell people don't touch you or they can't speak life over you. And they can't speak, you know, in a word over you. But I'm saying, I'm saying, woman of God, I mind my own business. I see you in the realms of the spirit hollering, travailing. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. And you also, woman of God, you can't, you can't. I'm not saying you are, please don't get me wrong, but everybody can't connect with you, especially in this season, especially in this season. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, 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 I hear the, I hear the Lord. I, 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 uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I hear the, I know what I heard the Lord say. When he, listen, listen, woman of God, prophetess Tatiana, when the Lord tells you to leave, you leave. And that's the word of the Lord concerning you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. One more thing I got to say. One more thing I got to say. I got, I got one more thing to say in regards to this teaching on tonight. You can see. Tatiana, you're a seer. And see, this is why, and let me tell y'all something. Listen, listen, let me say this. Let me say this. I ain't, listen, I'm not putting my mouth on no ministry. 
I'm not putting my mouth on no pastors. I'm not putting my mouth on no leaders. But when, listen, when, when God sends a prophet to a ministry, when God sends a prophet to that, to a ministry, the leader of that ministry needs to understand why the prophet is there. Hallelujah. I'm telling y'all, listen, under the sound of my voice, there are leaders. And, and like my wife was saying, like Apostle Nina was saying, it's some more churches finna close. It's some more churches finna close because you got leaders now honoring the prophet, the prophets. And can I tell you something? One more thing. One more thing. I hear the spirit of the Lord say, uh, uh, prof prophet is, uh, Tatiana. They see, listen, listen, listen. You, you are not a house prophet. You are God's prophet. Hey, hey glory. You are not a house prophet. Quit, la listen, quit allowing these people to label y'all house prophets because when they label y'all a house prophet, what they are saying, they are saying you are their prophets. You are not a house prophet. You are God's prophet. But when God sends a prophet to a house, that leader needs to understand why that prophet is there. Something is wrong if a leader is in the presence of a prophet and they don't even see the prophetic anointing on the prophet light. They don't even understand. Oh my God. You, you, oh, you are not a member. Woo. You are not a member. See, all this recruit spirit that's going on in the churches, that's, it's got to end. It's got to end. It's got to end. It's got to end. Listen, uh, that's why the apostle Nina, that's religion. Don't, do not allow these leaders to label y'all as a house prophet. Because if they label y'all as a house prophet, they see you as their property. That's another teaching, by the way. That's another teaching, by the way. But that's the word of the Lord concerning you. Hallelujah. 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 The kingdom of God. Mm, glory. Glory, 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 glory. That's it. They try to box. They, 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 they try, they try to box your gift. That, that, that's, mm, that's spiritual prostitution. That's spiritual prostitution. When a leader, oh Lord Jesus, when a leader try to prostitute your gift for the ministry so you can, so they can, uh, so you can stay there, that's spiritual prostitution. That's spiritual prostitution. This is why we tell folks, this is th those, those, those that's up on of us. This is why we tell y'all, listen, listen, listen. Y'all not our prophets. Y'all not our prophets. Y'all belong to God. This is why we push y'all to God. Hallelujah. Whether you up under me and my wife or not, we push people to God. Because this foolishness got to come to an end. And God said he's sick of it. The, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of the Lord, uh -huh, the spirit of the Lord told me. And he said it loud and clear. He said, I'm vomiting. I said, oh, glory. He said, I'm vomiting because I'm sick. It got to come to an end. Don't allow these leaders to prostitute y'all like that. Some of these leaders, the reason why the ministry is still standing is because of the ones God has sent there. But when they don't honor the oil, when they don't honor the prophet, that's when, that's when the ministry go collapse. I got leaders, I got leaders, I'm not bragging or boasting. I got to tell y'all the truth, because first of all, I, I fear God. I love God. And another thing I love is people. I refuse to lie to y'all. Listen, listen to me very well. Don't allow these leaders to do y'all like that. You are more than just somebody that can prophesy. You are more than somebody just anointed. But God is still faithful. God is still able. God is still able to provide for his people. Hallelujah. The last thing I want to say about the kingdom of God. <laughs> Glory, hallelujah. 
When you keep your mind, when you set your mind, the Bible tells us in Colossians that we should set our minds uh, concerning the things above. Set our minds to the things that's above. Hallelujah. When you set your mind on the kingdom, when you set your mind on the righteousness of God, everything he have is, is available to you. The thing about that is you have to wait to your season. And I'm telling you, waiting on God is not easy. Waiting on God is not easy. But God, God got to test us to see where our heart is. To see, to, to, and the test ain't for him, cause he already knows. The test is for us. You talking about you go, you talking about you praying to God that when I, when, when I get this amount of money, I'ma do this, I'ma do that. In reality, you ain't gonna do nothing. So everything, everything that God have in his kingdom is available to us. Healing, deliverance, breakthrough, hallelujah, increase. Hallelujah. See the king, see, we need to, we need to quit putting a limit on God's kingdom. No, the kingdom of God has a lot of things. And God knows we need these things. But, but, but the problem is, the problem is we get so impatient that we move outside the season we in and we always expect God to bail us out. So everything, everything you need it's now on the inside of you. It's on the inside of you. Well, apostle, what do that mean? That don't make sense. I, listen, listen. Jesus says the kingdom of God does not come by observation. You can experience the kingdom of God on the earth right now. Right now. Now, where are you located at? On the earth, right now. So if the kingdom of God is here on earth, and you walking on the earth, that means the kingdom of God is on the inside of you. Ah, I'm going to say it again. Jesus says, I gave you the keys to the kingdom. Whatever you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So there's no distance between heaven and earth. Uh -huh. You can experience heaven right now on the earth. I want to, I want to bind that religious spirit. I want to bind that religious spirit because people have, to, people teach us that heaven is this gold place, it, it, this wonderful place where we'll spend eternity. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Heaven is eternity. Yes, yes. But I want to watch this. I want to experience it right now on this earth. I'm not God's will. Yes, he wants us to be saved. Yes, he wants us to live holy. That way when you die, you have a relationship with him. Your soul going to heaven. But I want to experience heaven right now before my soul gets there. Don't. Don't allow, please, people of God, don't allow these people to constantly manipulate you all. Now, I'm not bragging on myself. Am I saying I'm the only anointed vessel out here? No. But I'm tired, hallelujah, and seeing God's people falling for the same trap. We got to wake up. And we got to walk in our kingdom identity. It starts with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It starts with us. It starts with us. We think it starts with God. No. It don't start with God. It starts with us. God is looking for a, he's looking for a people that's going to receive what he has for them. And this is why middle leaders don't want to tell you that. Because, 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 
because they don't want you to outshift them. A real leader, a real leader would, wouldn't mind if, if somebody up under him or her is above him or her. In this hour in this season, the people of God, Going to experience heaven on the earth, but we gotta, we gotta, we gotta have a renewed mind. We can't listen. We can't. We gotta have a renewed mind. The kingdom ain't no. Listen, you can't experience heaven on earth if you're people pleasers. Y'all need listen, listen. You don't need no man's permission to be blessed. God says you bless, you bless. You don't need to ask me, apostle, apostle. I, you don't mind if the blessing of the Lord be upon what? What? But this is what's going on, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm not telling y'all. I'm not telling y'all what I, I listen. Listen. The Lord been telling me. The Lord be telling me some things. I be. I be like, wow. I be like, wow. So, people of God, blessings to you, prophetess Wakefield. It's time for us to walk in our kingdom, our, our authority and identity. It's our time. It's our time. It's our time. All the hell you've been through, hallelujah, you deserve to experience heaven and on the earth. And, and, and I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off. You don't need no man's permission or request. And see, that's the thing. That's the thing. We're more concerned about what man feel or say about us than God. So y'all continue to be blessed. May the blessings of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. May the blessings of the Lord continue to be with you all. God is good. God is good. I'm looking forward. To hear some testimonies. From you all. You ain't got to go into details. If the Lord leads you. To share. Just, just inbox me or Apostle Nina. And just say he did it. Because I'm telling you. Within the next 21 days, for some of you within the next 21 days, there's going, to, there's going to be a supernatural increase concerning your businesses. There's going to be a supernatural increase. The next, I know I heard God. The next 21 days, God going to some supernatural best somebody's business. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. We love you. Until next time. May the blessings of the Lord continue to be with you and your household, Apostle Nina, and I love you very much. Me personally, hallelujah, we thank you. We thank you for tuning in on tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah.